Hello, welcome to Mr. Talk University Radio Plays Cyclopean Foundations. I'm Ben. I'm Dan. And today we're continuing with the sixth scenario in the Beards Fanmate campaign. Uh, and it's called Blood from Stones. And it's got some uh, it's got some art happening here. <laughs> did, have, did you look at this art on this this thing over here, Dan? Yeah, uh, I believe I did. Yeah, I, I gotta say I kind of like this. It's very it's very uh... I don't know. It's very Escher, very yeah. tentacles. I like it. It's got going, it's going a lot going on. Uh, yeah, so last time we were on a boat. Uh, actually, we weren't on a boat. We were stopping at ports, and we were on boats off screen. Uh, but we solved a couple of crimes as people were trying to delay our trip. Uh, but we got through it pretty pretty successfully. It's a pretty smooth scenario. Uh, so now we are here. So I guess... Uh, Talk about we upgraded with our decks real quick. We got eight experience. Um, I got a charisma and uh, Garish. I think is how his name is said. Um, just to have another way to passively heal damage and horror if I need to heal it. Uh, and also get skill boosts probably. Yeah, that was that was all I did. I banked one experience so. Yep, I think that that'll definitely be good with just like shoving the transferring the horror from agency backup to Girish via um, uh, Solemn Valley. Like it's a, it's an involved combo, but that's definitely going to do some work. Yeah, and then uh, what'd you do to your deck, Dan? Um, I think we're we're kind of in this stage of just like kind of upgrading the you know second or third priority things. I think because we sort of got the big stuff. So like I could have upgraded the Hallowed Mirror. I could have upgraded Gret. There's, there's a lot of things I could have or Enchanted Blade. What I ended up doing was I added a Relic Hunter, which I really wanted last time but couldn't quite afford. Um, that'll just let me play Empty Vessel and Hallowed Mirror, which should be good. And um, and then I just I upgraded an Overpower. I upgraded um, the other 32. So now I have two upgraded 32s. And I I was going to upgrade a Vicious Blow, but I only had one of them, so I, I ended up adding a, a level 2 Vicious Blow, and I took out a copy of Gret. So I think that should be pretty okay. All right, then. So let's do story text. All right. We arrived on schedule. Yes. So intro one. The stormy gray skies that have hung over your entire voyage persist as your ship makes port at Singapore. You find yourself bol bolstered in spite of the weather, reassured by your escapes from the cult pursuers. Perhaps here you may finally go back on the offensive. You book yourself a modest hotel by the waterfront and resume your investigations. But unlike the other stops in your journey, the enemy is nowhere to be found. Surely here at the trail's end, there must be some sign, some trace of this ever-present network of assassins. But where? You're returning to your dockside hotel when the answer manifests before you. The sky above you shimmers, then tessellates into a strange geometric, geometric patterns. The distortions bend, forming a dome around the city as they merge recursively. You reel at the subtle, sudden spectacle, but nobody else around you seems to even notice the fractured sky. You can only assume that this phenomenon is tailor-made to affect you alone. Uh, but if that's the case, then you are left with some grim conclusions. As the dome surrounds the city, the whole city, you must also assume uh, that it is meant to trap you in Singapore. This would also mean that the cult's ultimate goal is not in Singapore itself, but is somewhere nearby, and the city was simply the easiest rallying point. If all this is true, then you must find a way to break this abstract dome and learn just where the cult's plans will accumulate. Accumulate. See, one one thing about me is I absolutely hate it when I'm left with some grim conclusions. Like that's one thing that I just can't stand. <laughs> hmm. So, are we trapped in a dream, or are we trapped in the Doctor Strange dimension, or is there a better movie that this same phenomenon happy happens that you want to advocate for uh, right now? There's, I mean, there's definitely, there's definitely some better movies, right? Like, I mean, I mean, jeez. Um, I don't know. It, can we be trapped in everything, everywhere, all at once? That was, that was better. Uh, yeah, man, that, I'd approve of that. That's good stuff. So, I don't know. I don't think there was like a. Was there a tessellation? scene where you where you're, the whole world fractured and mirrored itself like this like i'm definitely picturing uh, like you know inception no they, not the, not, the, not really because that movie they had a budget of like you know three dollars <laughs> instead of like 20 instead of like 200 million dollars and it was still a lot better so uh yeah it's true <laughs> uh okay then um i guess let's do our opening hand oh wait uh, let me look at the the setup here so i did the setup already we have 14 notice or more than 14 notice we have 21 or something yeah uh so we have the countermeasures 
I uh, had to seal three things on these story cards, which I'll read when I read the act of the agenda. Uh, additionally, because we have 17 or more notice, we begin this scenario with two fewer cards and two fewer resources. Uh, not great. Pretty pretty bad. Pretty bad penalty for this notice. I guess maybe we should have been more subtle than a uh, man running around with guns, crying, weeping, uh, shouting about his dead wife, and a doctor trying to put bandages, you know, on his face or whatever, <laughs> just to cover the mental wounds. Um... So, and then finally, we chose the most direct route. So we remove one Doom from Genda 1A. Maybe we start with zero Doom? Yeah, I think that doesn't help us. I misread this when I set this up. Because we weren't delayed. We didn't choose the least predictable route. And we chose the most direct route. But there's no Doom to start. So we just don't remove any Doom, I guess. Mm. All right, so we just start at zero. That's fine. All right, then let me. I've had your deck on the screen the whole time. Darn it. Uh. Oh well. All right. Uh. Opening hands, which is only three cards. Well, I got Garish. Oh, I also got Captain Discovery. Oh, on the mend is not supposed to be my deck. Every time. Hmm. Should I? Should I keep the Captain Discovery and like try to fire it off immediately as soon as I get three clues <laughs> to, to, I, to recover I, from I this? I would. I would probably mull it. Yeah. And I, I mean, well, see, like if we knew that this was a place with like lots of clues and low shroud or something, maybe. Yeah. But. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not a bad idea. Like, what what do you think? I don't know. I, I guess I should try to get assets. Should yeah. I get all the deduction? Probably, right? Just oh, I want to get oh, yeah. perceptions. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, well, I got some yeah. bow at least. Not great. Yeah. Not the worst. Um, um. Okay. So I, I mean, I think I mull. I think I mull the scene. Man, I th these are like it's good to have assets, but these are not really the assets that I want. Um, yeah. The sword in particular is just a lot worse than the gun. Um, you know, obviously in terms of actual warfare potential and as well as, uh, you know, these cards. Yeah. Um, but what are the odds you draw a gun in the two cards you get to draw? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that I don't think it makes sense. So I will just I'll just mulligan the scene and I'll keep the other two. Safeguard also is like I guess it's good to have. We don't really need it on turn one exactly. Um, but I guess it, what's good is like I can play both of these with Ever Vigilant this turn, and yeah. you can also play Gearish. Yeah. So we at least get three ticks off of it. So all right, um, man, would have would have been a great time for stand together. Um, all right, so that's uh, yeah. Man, it's rough to start with less cards and less money, but we're just so damn noticed, you know? Yeah. All right. Let's look at the agenda and the axe that's going here. The geometric barrier. The angular dome shimmers and flickers with power, distorting even the vectors of light flowing through it. Wherever the barrier intersects with the train, buildings bend and shift impossibly, though somehow the structures remain standing. Six doom. Under the dome. The longer this dome delays you, the more time your enemies have to prepare their ultimate goal. Your clear goal is to destroy the geometric barrier, but how? Uh, if there is one tablet token in the chaos bag, you must immediately advance. So we also we have the three tablets sealed on these three uh, story cards. So, uh, so the impossible angles of intersection draw your notice as you inspect the barrier. Time and time again, you have encountered this spatial warping phenomenon. But uh, is there a method to it? Only strict inspection of similar events will tell you for certain. So after you resolve a non-Euclidean effect, move one of your clues to this copy of Geometric Seal. Group limit once per effect. Once there are six clues on it, release each seal token on it and move it to the victor display. So we have to get three six clues and probably move three six times. Uh, the second seal... 
You could study the dome for months and not fully catalog each of the rules of it. Na rules of nature it appears to break. To weaken the barrier, you must consider them possible. Become familiar with it and apply this alternative logic to dispelling the dome. After a paradox treachery at your location is discarded or removed from play, including mm -hmm. discarding it after it resolves its effects, remove one of your clues to this copy of the geometric seal, limit once per treachery, once there's six clues on it, uh, we can we can uh, release the seal and move to the victory display. Are these blank on the inside? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the final seal we have is even with the barrier, bizarre patterns and intersections of the barrier, there is more under the surface at work. Many of the cultists act subtle, subtly as they oppose you, and the same careful scheming must be applied to the dome. You must learn their methods to challenge the madness. After a hidden treachery at your location is discarded or removed from play, including discarding it after removing its effects, move one clue. So, so we need 18 clues, and we need to trigger these three things to put the clues on it. Um, notably, the second two are at your location, so that means like, you know, if I have all the clues and you do the thing, we can still trigger it. Um, the only one that doesn't have that is is this one. This one is specifically your clues, but you usually pick up all the clues anyway. So yeah, here here and there, right? Yeah. Um. Cool. So we are the harbor. You've only just arrived, but you have a feeling you'll be staying long. The sprung docks offer many opportunities, so it's quick. We're stealthy enough to safely find them. So there's an agility test here that lets you do a free move by investigator at your location to a story card. And if you succeed by two or more, you can add, instead add a clue. So this is an alternative way to, to do the story effects if we're like stuck because we're like waiting for a treachery or something. Got it. Um, but we probably don't need to do that now. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I want to play Perception. Is the Shroud here too? Yeah, I, I think I feel like I definitely want to like Perception, draw some cards. Should I do that first? Well, so, so I could potentially I, get more stuff. Or what? What I was kind of thinking is we should try to like we should try to hit more assets, and we should try to hit more assets, and maybe I play the speech on for you to play Gearish because that's better than like just ever vigilant on it, right? Yeah. Although on the other hand, I can also just hang on to motivational speech because I do have two expensive allies. Yeah. We also we only have three bucks, so. If I got something else that I could play, I'd probably have to action for money or something. Yeah, I, th I think it's up to you. I, I, I think, like, the, as a baseline, if I play Ever Vigilant and we just, you play Gearish and I play the Sword and Safeguard, that's pretty, that's a pretty solid use of it, I think. Yeah. But should I go first, though, and see if I can get another ally, another thing to play? I hope that makes sense. Yeah, because you probably have other things you'd rather get out soon yeah. rather than Gearish. So. All right, so I think I'll just go. So I'll investigate right off the bat. So I'll be at, with Perception, I will be at a 7 versus 2. I got a 0, so I succeed and get a clue. I get two cards off of Perception. No assets, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, I could like draw once and see if I get something. And then gain a money if it's something useful, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. I'll draw one. Oops. I'll draw once. Uh, is this actually worth playing? Well, there's probably not a lot of non Euclidean stuff happening, so maybe it's beneficial? I don't know. But there's currently no tablets in the bag. Is this worth mm -hmm. clicking for money so that I can play it off of Ever Vigilant? That's the question. Or should I just draw another card? Uh, I I don't really think the I don't think the warp title does much for you at yeah, all. Uh, right, I'm gonna just draw another card. Oh, see, that's a little better. Ooh, I mean, that's a potential speech target. If uh, yeah, if I could you, as long you as you're willing. Else. As long as you're willing to funnel me some crack money later, I could just play motivational speech on you this turn, and you could get them both out. Yeah. All right. Well, that was my turn though, because I investigated and drew tw and then drew twice. So okay. So I I think in that case, what I'm probably gonna do is like. Um, I'm probably gonna ever vigilant, and I'm I'm probably gonna draw like a card, then motivational speech and ever vigilant is what I'm gonna do. Okay. Um, because that because if I happen to draw like empty vessel, I can get that out for free, which would be nice. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I will draw one card. Nope. Um. So I will play ever vigilant. Uh, I'm gonna play two things, so you may play whatever you want. 
Alright, so I'll play... I guess it's make if you're gonna if you motivational speech is it you it's me still me playing it right yeah because it doesn't it doesn't yeah. matter all right so I'll play Grish for three and that's that's it because I only I only had one money I only had enough money okay. to play one thing so um and last click I will play motivational speech on you all right that just go. Actually, she doesn't heal immediately. That's okay. Oh, I, I did give you a solemn vow. Yeah, I, I think um, after your turn, after Jessica heals, I will probably ship one to you if that's okay. Well, I mean, you could ship some on to Grish now if you want. Because uh, I already done my, I already did my turn. So. Uh, oh yeah, so Jessica's not gonna heal this turn. Um, yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll ship a damage onto Garish. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was both of our turns. So upkeep. Oh, there's the bystander hanging out right away. Wow, coming out early. Yeah, probably probably will actually have to heal him because he came out so early. Um, okay, and then we get a doom. We didn't do any of these things, right? Paradox, hidden, and non Euclidean. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a paradox. Uh, pulsing barrier. Reveal X random tokens in the back where X is. <laughs> Half the amount of notice. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. This is like how many of those are in the bag. Because... <laughs> oh, it is max three total. Oh, okay. Good. I did, I did. You know what? That's actually not that bad for us because we have so many ways to soak and heal. But that would be... Uh, I mean, that is, that's, not, that's not the first few words you want to read off of an encounter card in this situation. I mean, that is 11, 11 tokens, right? Because we have 21 notice. So... <laughs> Okay, well, there's some I mean, kind of shortcut for that, so we don't actually have to click it eleven times. Probably, probably not, because what? When would that ever come up in in a <laughs> horror game? Uh, I was doing so good. Uh, how many do I have here? I lost count. Ten. Uh, man, I was doing so good to the end there. Uh, so I revealed four tokens. Uh, oh, it doesn't? No, it's not skulls. Okay, so I only revealed two tokens. Oh, nice. Okay, that's kind of okay. Yeah, uh, but let's. But oh, I don't. But that I don't, don't really want to take want... damage. Yeah, I don't. Bad, right? I don't want to take damage. So I guess I take two horror. And do I just put it on Grish? I guess. Or do you want it? So you, I, I can just put one on me. And put one on me. Yeah, I just do one and one probably. Yeah. That seems fine. It wasn't even a skill test for me to trigger him on. All right. Think well... of a uh, think. Think of how many uh, on the mens you're gonna get from like healing, healing off Gearish and healing off Jessica. It's gonna be good. Yep. That's that's the hope. All right. So hope there's hope there's only one copy of this card in the deck. Well, I, I guess. <laughs> Oh, right. the, our favorite wharf rat again. All right. Well, I do. I do have a sword, so I can stab this guy in his ugly face. So, um, um, okay. or we could parley with him, but uh, yeah, probably not. Um, the parley. All right. So I, so I guess my my job is to kill this guy, right? And I'll I'll probably like kill this guy and then draw a card. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. I did. Wait, I did do a one of the things, right? Uh, I did the oh, paradox, yeah. so I can put a clue on this one if we want. So it's non-Euclidean paradox treachery or and hidden. Uh, hidden treachery. Okay. So I got. I just did a paradox, so I, why don't we do that? Because uh, I don't know how often those are going to come up. So. Yeah, I should probably probably do it. Yeah. Um, and is that yeah? So I I should. It's after you resolve. So this one's so I, after you resolve. But these ones are someone at your location. So okay. Like you, you probably want to grab the, the, a couple the, the, so you can. The, the, yeah, like it would be good for me to get some, but like the non-Euclidean one, if we if we that's like less hard to reproduce because we can right. just find a place with non-Euclidean and move through it. So yeah, yeah. So okay, but 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 it, it it it's slightly better than normal for me to try to get a clue. Is what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do you happen to have like a? I don't know. But um, all right. So I will uh, stab this guy. So I'll use a sword charge. So this gives me a. I have a seven against a three, which th there's no minus five, right? No, it's not. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, magic mark. Um, all right. So this guy dies. Um, and then click two. I will draw a card. Oh, I should have practice makes perfect that. Whatever. Um, and I think click three. I'll just draw another card. Of course, yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. 
Um, okay, well, that's that's how that goes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I reveal it and lose my resource. Yeah. I always draw that really early, and I often draw it when there's no way to get rid of it. That's my perception so far. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I will go. Um, I guess I'll get this clue and then probably go, go somewhere else. Um, I guess I just test it. What's the, what's the bag? What do these symbols look like? <laughs> oh no! Uh, did you see what the skull was? Uh, not. Is it a? <laughs> so it's yeah. just it's just a minus four, uh, but it's for the whole game. It's a minus four. It's pretty rough. You, yeah, like last, it's not last it's scenario. Not capped. Uh, but but I guess like we we have pretty much the max amount of I mean, you can. Have, yeah, I was gonna say so. it's capped based on how much maximum you could potentially have, which is what we went to war. Yeah, at. I mean that is, and the, what are there two skulls in the bag? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so. I mean that's that's bad, but like we it's standard. We can usually pass on a minus four if we need yeah. to. All right, uh, I think I'm just gonna test and investigate here because the stakes aren't super high. Uh, all right, so I got the clue. Oh, and yeah, and once I get out the empty vessel, it's like yeah, I don't I don't care about skulls. So yeah. Uh, how do we want to navigate this map? I guess maybe let's go to this, uh, this temple over here. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go over there. I want to move over here. Uh, I'm going to assume you're going to follow me. Yeah. All right. So during a skill test you're performing, you can discard a card from your hand to reveal until you get one of the symbol tokens. Huh. I mean that might be good for you if you wish you'd are out, <laughs> but no, I would. Uh, I, I would really. That. You leave one clue here for me to get. Sure. If, if, if possible, if it doesn't work out, it's fine. But no, I'll. Uh, yeah, I'll investigate using Garish and. Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry. Can you actually? Can you maybe save the Garish activation for me? Because I. I, I want. I basically want to try to pass and investigate without committing any cards. So like, well, if you, I use so you already went this turn. it would work pretty well. You already went this turn, didn't you? Uh oh yeah. Sorry, I don't yeah. know. I was confused. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there's the beard. He's here. Um, what's up? Yeah. So I'm gonna use Garish and test. So I'll be at a six. We are. Uh, we're enjoying in this scenario that our noticefulness is finally. Uh, is is really coming back to haunt us pretty seriously. Yep. Uh so I will I guess I'll heal the horror off of him for now. Um yeah. So and then cuz just was about to heal the damage anyway. So I got one clue and yeah. I healed the damage off Jessica then my turn so I get on the mend. During during enemy phase can I ship another damage on it, Jessica? Yep. Okay, I do that. All right. Uh I'll keep I'll get this all bow. Um, okay. Doom happens, and I get a counter card. And I got Bazophobia. What is this? What is Bazophobia? Fear of space moving? So the effect is after you resolve a non-Euclidean effect, resolve that effect an additional time. Oh, interesting. Um, I mean, that could be sort of bad, um, especially like, I feel like we haven't seen any really, really awful non-Euclidean effects in previous scenarios, but it seems like it's maybe more of a theme in this one. So maybe we'll see some pretty bad ones. Okay, well, anyway. Um... It's, you, the idea, you, it's the it's the fear of walking or standing. Wow. Okay. Well, wait, wait. Fear of both at the same time. Like you have to lie down. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Like okay, you, okay. you get a uh, you like feel like you're gonna fall over all the time or something. Okay, and we have we have a like scary it. blindfolded dude here. A scary blindfolded dude. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, I mean that's okay. So my my plan is probably my plan is to kill this guy. And then try to get a clue, probably. Does that sound uh, all right? Sounds fine to me. Yeah, neither one of okay. these, neither one of these will trigger any of these this stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I will. I will just go. I'll just go then. Okay. Um. Actually, so wait. So if I, I would be at seven versus four. Maybe I. 
do you want to get the clue here? Because now that I have this guy to kill, I don't really need to try to 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 do that to get rid of Reckless hey, as much. No, I'm not against getting the clue. I can try and get it. Um, I just also don't have. Yeah, I think I'll maybe do that and then try to focus on drawing and playing another weapon because I'm going to be like down to one charge. So, all right, well let's uh, so let's do this and let's um, emit the reckless. So I'm at seven versus four. Uh, I'm going to uh, use Sophie to get up to a nine versus four and uh, minus four. All right, well I pass. I get rid of the reckless um, and this guy. Oh, he has three health. God damn it! I forgot I was gonna. Oh, gonna I, I was him. I was simultaneously thinking I was going to get out a vicious blow with practice makes perfect, but then I wouldn't get rid of reckless. It's okay. I'll just mm. stab him with the sword again. You stab um, him, right? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I will click two. I will attack him without using a charge. So I have a six versus a four, and I'm going to commit this overpower. Um. Yeah, I think that's correct. Uh, so I'm up by four. And he dies. Great. And I drop the overpower. Oh, that's pretty nice. good. Um, yeah. I think in that case, I think I'll just, I think I'll draw another card because I already next turn I'll already be able to play the thirty-two. So I will click three, just draw. Okay. All right. Uh. Alright, so I'll investigate. Uh, I guess I'll use Grish. Uh, oh, actually, uh, it's all the same. Uh, yep, so I'll use Grish and be a 6. Oop, okay. I will use on the mend. Be at a 6. Okay. Um, see, I mean, like. Testing at three above should be fine most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't want to test it at four versus a three. It seems dumb. So I guess I will draw a card. Okay, and here's another song valve for you. <laughs> should you want it? Uh, uh, not only do I want it, I would like to use. Well, I, I guess I, for this turn I only want to use one, but I would like to ship a damage to Girish if that's okay, or uh, Jessica, whichever. I'll put it on Jessica. Oh, because okay. Grish, Grish would have just healed, right? Because you passed when you did the thing. No, no, I did not pass. I failed. Oh, okay. I, I fail on a minus four. When, cause and, I don't... and you know, the real penalty for that isn't even failing the test. It's just seeing Grish looking at you disapprovingly. Yeah, it's, you're right. <laughs> uh, all right, well, that was my turn, and you went already, so upkeep. Oh, I got the compass. I don't think that'll get committed properly. All right, Doom happens. We're at three out of six. Oh, how is Basophobia not a paradox? The guy's upside down. That's literally a paradox. Uh, all right. Uh, can the card for me? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Go. Got a lot of fear falling happening here. Wow. I mean, if you don't have something to murder, I, you know, I got, I got some I, action yeah, to if I, if I don't draw something, I'm probably going to have to just start getting rid of that. So. Ooh, mystery card. All right. Um, all right. Uh, let me remind myself how this works. Okay, so, like, getting, getting rid of a hidden card is good because it gives us a chance to do that. Yeah. All right, uh, I'll let you go first and see see what you do with your turn. Uh, if you have two okay. abstractions, maybe get rid of one of these things for me. But... Yeah, this is an extremely boring turn, but I'm just going to play the cult, and then I'm going to get rid of one of your Basophobias. Okay. I'm actually wondering if you should get rid of it. Uh, well, unless you'd rather get rid of Psychosis, but usually you ignore that. I, yeah, I usually ignore it because uh, I have ways to heal stuff. So it's, it's, yeah, let's get rid of these for now, because this is not too worried okay. about this. Yeah, I mean, it, unless we draw more interesting stuff to do, I can probably just get rid of another one next turn, so. Yeah. All right, then I will attempt to investigate again, so I will use... Uh, actually, I will uh, commit on the mend. Skull Cultist is minus two, so I succeed. Get the clue, and then let's go to the middle. Oh, middle. sorry. So sorry, sorry. When you revealed that, uh, uh, I must reveal. I must reveal this card. 
Um, so I can choose. It's a peril, so I can't choose. Can you remind me what the test was? Because I briefly was not paying I, attention. I was investigating uh, with On the Men Committed. I mean, this isn't a peril, so... Oh, no, it is a peril, so I can't... It is a peril. Uh, I... And that, that was the only effect you had well, going on? You well, just committed the, that? And... Sorry, the, the peril only applies to the revelation part. Um, okay. So while it's revealed, you could... Because I'm, I'm thinking we should make you fail this test yeah, that, so we can put that, a clue on the thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. So. All right. So we, we got rid of a hidden card. Uh, you spend a clue, and uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so then in that case, I will try again uh, with Garish. And I drew Cultist again. So Garish will heal, and we'll get on the men back. Um, now I get the clue. And then I guess last action, I'm going to move to... Cenotaph. Yeah. Let's do that. Be a pretty cool place. I assume you will follow me. Uh, still haven't found a non-Euclidean place. I was sort of expecting like several of these to be non-Euclidean, but uh, huh. So there's an action here to search the top five cards of the encounter deck and draw it, uh, or shuffle this card pile back into the encounter deck. Uh. I guess that's more ways to force these if we need them. So, all right, uh, that was end of my turn. So, Jessica heal or don't Jessica heal? Do you have damage that needs to move to me? No. So Jessica is not going to heal right now. All right, uh, upkeep. Oh, bandages. I like that. Um, and then a doom happens, and counter card for me. Anything spooky happen on your upkeep? No. Uh, I got, you better leave. So I attach this location with the most clues that doesn't have a copy, which would be here. After the investigator discovers any amount of clues at that location, the investigator must either take one damage or lose one action. If there's no clues, then we could discard it. Or you could spend two resources to parlay uh, and get rid of this. Uh, oh, so this is actually one of the parlays that we could have drawn last game that we just didn't. <laughs> Uh, oh, and it's a tactic, so Mark can take it, and it could go on. Uh, it could go on stick to the plan. Uh, I, maybe uh, technically not incorrect, but also wrong. Um, all right, so uh, you got to draw an encounter card. Around every corner. Uh, okay, so I think this this is a get out of conspirator thing, right? Um, so I think my, my feeling is I don't particularly care if we get out a Conspirator. Yeah, you'll, um, you'll have to kill it. Right. I mean, I, I could also just, like, pass this with a TTI, though. You know what, I think... I mean, if you pass think, it, then you can spend actions and get rid of my shit. So. Oh, that wouldn't that'd be fun. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think that's better, because I, the TTIs aren't really doing anything otherwise. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is commit a TTI and use Sophie to get up to plus five. Oh, no! With a war. Oh no! Two damage. Oh, for every two damage, take a horror. Uh, um. Man, okay. So still, I still pass. Right. I pass. <laughs> so this goes away. You're at eight. Okay. Yep. All right. This this is really shell shock is really the biggest mismatch between how cool and metal the art is and how scary <laughs> the actual card is. <laughs> like. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's that's it. All right, so it, it, I'm, I'm probably just getting rid of one of your things, right? I mean, I, I could also get rid of... I, I See, I really don't want to get rid of the You Better Leave because I really don't want to pay two for it. Yeah, I can just... Can, like, uh... We can just take the damage, right? I mean, I, I can play Bandages and then heal the damage as I take it. <laughs> oh, damn it. You know what? I forgot that I had a scene. I legit should have gotten out of Conspirator. Oh, but you didn't have money for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I never, well, I never have money. Yeah. Um, actually, if you see, if you don't, you don't really care about the Bassophobia yet. Um, what if instead I played a Hallowed Mirror and then healed like your bystander or something? Is that good? I'm not. I'm not against that. Like, are you, are you actually going to try to get rid of the bystander this game? I think I am because there's there's a lot of stuff that like, just does random damage. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, in that case, but why don't I, why... I? The only way I have to heal him is directly is bizarre diagnosis, which does three. Oh, but... you don't have any kind of other thing that works. No, I have. I have uh, your elder sign. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm elder sign. Okay. Yeah, if you heal him down to one, I'll get bandages out and I can keep him like topped off. So. 
Um, no, but you're. I mean, so do you have two bizarre diagnoses? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't end up cutting it, so I'll draw one eventually. That, that, that's just better though, because otherwise, like we heal him for two, and he's still out forever. Like that's not really. That's okay. just annoying. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I so I, w I won't do that. Um, what I will do is I will. But be, be you okay with me not getting rid of this treachery here? Yeah, I'll just I'll just play bandages and use two bandages up basically. Um, Ooh, two bandages because the damage goes directly onto him if I take the damage. Man, is there any way I can get clues? <laughs> do you I do mean, you want to commit that? Do you want to commit that deduction to me? Uh, does that make sense? Let's see. It gives you plus that puts you at a. I mean. I can use Sophie. Yeah, and you could also f you, I can also trigger Gresh, and you can f put feet of damage under Gresh so he heals it. This, as well. see, this, this seems this seems better. I just I, I see I don't want to see you using up two bandages on yeah. this. Like this is this okay. dumb. Okay, sure, let's okay. do it. All right, so what I'll what I'll do is I'll do that first, and then I'll click away one of your things. Sure. All right. So, so I will investigate. I'm well, going to uh, re sh remember my dearly my dearly departed Sophie who who died during yeah. World War One while I was in Europe. Uh, struggling valiantly against the kaiser's armies uh in the trenches you, um uh... for many for many years away from my beloved wife who i loved who was back home in america where i wish that i was the whole time um sorry were you saying something I, can you ship damage onto grish so when yeah because he'll just trigger heal immediately okay i do um, that yeah all right okay. so i'm so i'm at four i'm at four int um against three and you're right. going to commit the perception so i'm at six yep. And Girish uh, puts me at eight. Girish puts you at eight. Okay, and I only need to I only I don't need to pass by two because there's only yeah, two clues. Right. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. Right. Cool. So, so you get both clues, but you take a damage now or lose. Oh an no! Action. A damage. Um. All right. So I take a damage, and then I'm gonna just immediately ship another damage on Girish. Yeah. Sounds fine. Um, and then with my uh, this, man, goes, this, this goes away, but this is a tactic, so it doesn't. Oh, I, I bet. So these seals that we got three randomly out of five. So I, I bet there's one that's like tactic based or something. That's that's why it's a tactic. Yeah, pr probably. So with 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 my remaining two actions, do you want me to get rid of one of these? Yeah, I guess get rid of the psychosis, or I don't know. Yeah, what, either one, I don't care. I mean, it's up to you. I would, it affects you, not me. So yeah, let's get rid of psychosis. All right. Okay, that's it for me. All right. Uh, I guess I'm gonna move somewhere because no clues here. So let's move. And I do have a shortcut, so should I just shortcut myself? Oh, yeah. Did you see the beard says basophobia is also a uh, fear of falling? Yeah, yeah, I saw okay. it's both yeah. fear of falling and like f fear of standing up or something. But... That is interesting. Uh, yeah. So freemason's hall oh that might be on that might be not Euclidean. i guess uh i guess i might as well shortcut because what you know whatever um go up here oh damn it I knew there would be a location that had one of two clues on it uh this is non-euclidean when we leave we have to reveal tokens if you control the compass of the grand lodge i can parlay to add Two tokens from the token make destroy cards in play, distribute however you want. Okay. So if I play this, if I spend an action to play this, I can basically get two free clues. Um We could which, we could wait and see, yeah, like could, wait a bit and because we can move back easily with Pathfinder and shit, right? So yeah. like maybe let's see how we do because some of these like you know the the hidden card one is like it's really dependent on do we draw them and stuff no i agree i, I guess the question is do i want to play this just to have it out and be benefiting from it for while it's out um or and it doesn't really do too much yeah. it doesn't seem great to me but yeah, it's up to you. Let's, yeah let's not do that so uh okay so i will play bandages to get bandages out though and then I will investigate once with on the men, so I'm out of six. Alright, and then uh I don't really want to do four versus one, so I think or four versus three, so I think I'll just draw a card. Yeah. Oh, there's a bizarre diagnosis. Alright, so we'll deal with that next turn then. Alright, and then Jessica heals and I get on the men back. Alright. 
Uh, what are my actions? Pathfinder. And, yeah, Pathfinder bandages. Investigate. No, not Pathfinder. Shortcut and uh, drew a card. All right. So I'll keep. Ooh, and Dream Diary. Okay. And together. Couple, couple, couple good stuff. All right. Doom happens for one Doom away from advancing. And I got a scheme. Uh, I don't, do, do we do we want an enemy for any reason? Do you have enough money for? Uh, I would. I definitely would like some money. See the crime. Um, I could. I I could play a scene of the crime this turn if we get something. So, is that is that good? Like, do you not want to just investigate? Because I, my turn could be like scene, play, stand together, kill whatever you drew. Which seems pretty good. Well, I, I, I'm deciding if I want to try to pass this test because this makes an enemy spawn. And I, I, I think what I think what I'm thinking is an enemy want... spawning is totally fine. Is okay, I so I should just fail the test. Okay, so I'll just test it then. Are any of these things really bad if we fail? No, they're all just. All right, so even that one. Yep. So that's minus two. So I fail. So I have to spawn one of the conspirator enemies. So if it's um, the same usual one. Oh no, these are different ones. Uh, oh, I can get the ge the geometer. Um, I, th I think I don't even care because I have like vicious blows and things. So just get like honestly get out whatever one we just want to have out of the deck so we don't deal with it later. Yeah, we don't want the spook stops you from discovering clues. So oh. if, if there's if there's any, <laughs> oh yeah yeah, don't get out that one. Uh, and if there's any that's worth victory, uh, I would say get that. Oh. Uh... Don't I don't see any victory enemies. Yeah, there's no no victory enemies in here. So this the most annoying one is probably the spook. If you're not gonna play uh scene, I, I I thought I was. Oh, you are. Okay, then I will not get a spook. So I'll get a uh, geom geometer, I guess. Or soil sisters. There, th or I can get the fixer, the three health one. If you... Nah, that's fine. All right, let me shuffle the deck. Okay, uh, go ahead. And it, spawn, it spawns engaged with me because of whatever card I got. Yeah, yeah. Street Brawl. Oh, it it um, I think I don't even remotely care about this, but I might pass it anyway just for fun and to draw a card. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's use Sophie. Let's uh, think about Sophie to boost my combat up to high. Um, draw a card. Okay, cool. Ooh, second one. Um, so, I think you go so my so so my plan is scene, kill your guy, stand together is what I'm thinking. Seems seems good to me. So click one scene, uh, get two clues. Okay. We're we're keeping track of uh, of which treacheries or paradoxes or whatever, right? Yeah, we do I've, been, try I've been checking them. Okay. I don't think we've gotten any more. So. Okay, I, I feel like I have not paid as much attention as I should. So but as long as the encounter are. deck has like forty cards in it, so <laughs> yeah, um, we we might have okay. to like force it at some point. And then, uh, so I will uh, attack your dude, and I think I'm gonna just. Oh, actually, what if I? See, I have like too many cards in hand. Honestly, okay, I guess I won't. I'll use this daring just to cycle it. Um, okay. So, and I'll I'll use the last sword charge, so I'm up at like ten or whatever. Okay, I pass and I kill it, uh, and I draw off the daring. Oh, great. Um, I think probably last click stand together. If that sounds all right. I mean, it sounds good to me. Okay, uh, let's do it. Okay. All right, now I have like actual assets i might just uh set up a little bit this turn um, um i would yes. also can i ship a, a one damage each onto girish and uh, jessica yeah that's fine because uh, i kind of want to play dream diary and grizzly totem and then heal uh heal my bystander so i'm going to do that this isn't a test seems good. yeah so this uh, not usable my money but so I'll heal the bystander, bizarre diagnosis, I drop a clue. And then he gets fully healed and he just gets discarded, right? Yeah, okay. 
And then uh, spend two to play Dream Diary and spend three to play uh, Totem. Okay, and then, yeah, I guess I will heal Jessica because you're, you're on the take a million damage every turn train, so I think, I think she'll always have damage on her. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, so upkeep and then we're gonna advance. And there's just Pathfinder. All right. Um, I gotta discard some cards real quick. Um, I think I just discard Second Wind and uh, I feel like this oh, this cycle through my deck I just got basically nothing out of Practice Makes Perfect, which always feels bad. Um, okay, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's advance the agenda. Uh, your efforts to break the barrier have not gone unnoticed. One of the renegade architects emerges from the shadows, shifting the spell to counter you more directly. Spawn the set-aside barrier architect at the closest location to the investigator without an investigator. Um, there were not two or three names listed under cultists alive because we killed them all. Oh no, we killed them all, right? They're not alive. I must have put them in the wrong place. We definitely killed them all. Uh... And then your early efforts deprived the cultists of several capable agents, driving the remaining renegades to a more desperate state of mind. Attach the maddening designs to barrier architect. All right. So we get to pick a location, it's the closest location that nobody is at, right? Uh, it could be either of these, it's, or it could be several places. And I guess you can take a look at this guy. So he's got six health, aloof. Uh, when we trigger the seal, he gets a free attack, regardless of your location. Okay. Oh, damn, this guy's huge. Uh, but we get two clues when we beat him. And then the maddening um, designs. So eight eight health, right? Yeah, it gives him plus two health and retaliate. I I think I can I think I can kill him in one turn as long as we don't draw a bunch of other horrible shit. Should I put him here because we're going to kind of go that direction anyway? Um, or do we want to put him back here because we know it's a safe location? I or, or I would, up here because we can. Well, you you have Pathfinder out, right? So like I, I don't I have it like out we, yet. I have it in hand though. I just drew it. I guess I don't really feel super strongly about it. Uh, let's put it up here. Okay. Uh, okay. So that was the agenda advancing. Uh, diminishing fractals. As the cult uh, geometers focus their power, a sudden sound like scraping glass rips through the air. Sections of the barrier begin to fold inwards on themselves, slipping from existence entirely and suddenly shrinking the size of the dome. Cornered as you are, you cannot afford to be caged even further. Dan, are you really excited that we're fighting like math wizards right now? Let's say I'm having a pretty good time with it. <laughs> like, uh... Is this kind of like your goal in you life? Think is that, to would, reach, would it, would it help if I worked on? Would it help if I worked on solving my uh, my gigaminx or which maybe, one is this? I don't even remember which one this maybe, is, but maybe that'll help impress them. You know? Yeah, maybe they'll they'll be they'll be like, "Ooh, that's cool." Can I twist it around a little bit? <laughs> All right, uh, encounter cards. Wow, there's a lot of these. <laughs> a lot of these basophobias. All right, encounter card for Dad. Wait, oh, man, you're so scared of falling. Yeah, I know. Abyssal visions. Uh, uh, this is awful. This particular turn. Yeah, uh, this sucks so bad. Because the thing is, like, I basically am just gonna fight the guy twice, and I really don't want to draw tentacles. So now I have to do two like disadvantage tests. Yeah, that really sucks. Um, and yeah, there's nothing we can really do about it either. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could just let the guy. We could just wait a turn to kill him, but that doesn't really seem good either. Because my, my plan before this, and I'm probably still going to do this, my plan was basically, um, my my plan was basically like shortcut, engage, and then hit him twice and commit a bunch of cards and kill him. Does is that still? Because even if I even if I miss one, he hits me once and then I just finish him off next turn. Yeah, I mean the bad thing about him is he gets attacks whenever we want to do the the geometry, uh, yeah, geometry so seal, I, which we sort of wanted to trigger that a couple times when we left here, but um yeah like it would it would be bad like if he's still alive and then we happen to draw a paradox it would be really annoying yeah you know so I i'm kind of thinking that we should just go for it and just roll the dice 
Okay. So so should I should I go first then? Yeah. Do, you don't need me to move you in there. He is aloof. Yeah, I I kind of planned for that. I mean, if you want to like move in last click and engage him or something, uh, but then I, I do not. I would rather yeah, I, be I, killed I, before my turn if possible. Especially, so. especially with this going, you don't really want to risk like if I if I draw tentacles off the redraw or whatever. So yeah, yeah no, I can I can do it. So yeah, so let me here. Let me just um. I guess I do kind of wish you were there for healing, but you could just move over in your turn if we need to. So, um, all right. So I'm going to play the shortcut off of Stick to the Plan. God damn it. Um, sorry. Make this work. All right. So I play the shortcut off Stick to the Plan. I move myself here, and we reveal this location. Okay. Nothing. This is a will test thing to do to get clues. Okay. Oh, that's really good, right? Yeah, it's a lot better than the agility one. So. <laughs> All right. Um, so then, first action, I'm going to engage the math guy, who seems like a cool dude. You know, maybe if we'd met under different circumstances, maybe we could kind of, uh, you know, riff a little bit. But uh, all right. Um, I'll right, we'll catch you later, be the beard. Um, yep. All right. So I'm gonna click uh, two. I'm gonna fire at this guy, and I think I just, I think I don't even have anything left in my deck that is. Uh, searchable so yep that is correct uh, very very bad so i'm going to commit a good vicious blow and a uh overpower good overpower so that puts me at 10 against three okay uh, and i need to succeed by two so i will also uh take a damage by thinking about my Beautiful and perfect wife Sophie, who also had a great personality and was a very kind person, very kind to both uh, children and adults and animals, people of all races and creeds. Uh, she had a, a wealth of compassion for all living things, and I miss her every day. Um, anyway, so then I'll draw a chaos token, and I will draw another chaos token. Right. I will choose the worst one, which is minus three. Um, so that does four damage to the guy. Um, and also I draw two cards off the overpower. Five damage, right? Uh, just four, right? Oh, no, no, okay. You didn't do... Yeah. yeah gotcha. Uh, but now, click three, I will use another, uh, gun bullet, and I will commit home front and vicious blow. So that puts me at ten against three, and I only need to pass by... I don't need to pass by any amount, so I should be okay. So I will draw a token and another token, and I will choose the worst one, which is a skull, which is minus four, yeah. and that kills him. Nice. Great job. Yep, and that also heals me one. There was always a chance that it was that guy's fault that your wife died, so... Uh... Well, it's very, it's, very, it's very unlikely, but I mean, <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> Uh, in in a in a butterfly effect sense, maybe if that guy had eaten something different for breakfast one day in 1913, the Kaiser wouldn't have declared war on the rest of Europe. And uh, you know, you never you never know how history could have turned out. All right. Um, so, oh, uh, when you left this location, you did have to resolve the oh non location effect, which was draw so reveal a token if you. Reveal a spooky token, you take a damage or horror. Um, and this was, and it was not a test, so this doesn't apply. No. But I, it was a spooky token, so I would take a, I'm going to say I just took a damage from that. And because this guy was in play, so you could put a clue on the seal, but he would get a, I've got a free attack on you. Yeah, and I, I would not have done that. Even okay. It was, because the potential if I missed and got retaliated against, it could have added up really fast, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna investigate twice and then leave and trigger that effect three times. Uh, it's because of the passophobia. <laughs> so, I mean, is that is that actually good? Because or is this is this limited group limit once per effect? But I, you're yeah. How does that work? This is resolve the effect an additional time. Limit once per effect. Oh wait, what? I don't know, but each one of these cards is limit once per effect. Yeah, no, I think that works. I think I'm I'm resolving the effect three times. I think it's treated as it happening three times. Yes, because it's after after every time I resolve one of these effects, I can trigger it. But but why does it say group limit then and not just limit? 
Because it's after you resolve an effect. Hmm. This way it's quick. I mean, I, I, I no, agree. Actually, it's, it's hmm. confusing. I guess um, force, force triggers before you can trigger reactions. So maybe it is only once. Yeah. I mean, no, you, I think you're right. I think you, it is only once. You, so. you, you could, you could chill. You could get rid of those and pick up some clues if you don't want to trigger them multiple times. I mean, now that I don't have my guy out, I'm not as worried about it because I can heal a bunch. Although obviously, you're, yeah. I'm healing for you most of the time as well. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Well, let's let's investigate. Let's investigate first. Um, I'm gonna practice makes perfect. Um. No skills, really. All right. Well, let's add. And then I guess I will commit uh, something. This is the dream. And go see Totem. Right. I get a clue and draw a card. And then I'll commit. Uh, well, I can just get rid of Asophobia. Oh look, it's the it's the death that's that's so that's good. And you're, okay. and you're, okay, this you're, you're back. I mean, it's it was extra bad in this one because we had less less cards to draw. So yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, oh shoot, I forgot to use. I mean, it, this it's, turn. it's 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 totally reasonable to put it in as a four int seeker. Like that's that makes a lot of sense normally. I just think in this particular like deck and campaign, it hasn't done much. Yeah. But um, yeah. So instead of getting Bastophobia, I'm just going to investigate again because I want to heal. Garish up. Um, so I will commit on the mend and test, and I will get the on the mend that's not in that's not in the in limbo back, and then I'll play that one. Although all that was unnecessary because I'm still going to heal Jessica, I think, because I didn't get rid of nice. speed damage onto her anyway. Uh, oh wait, do I have one more action? Oh yeah, I do have one more action. I think I'll gain a money maybe, so I can try to get Pathfinder down soon. Yeah, seems good. All right, uh, upkeep. Yeah, because you also, if we do end up having to play the compass to do this action, then you need even more money for that. So. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I haven't drawn my cracks yet either, so. All right, uh, upkeep. This goes away at the end of the round, right? Yeah. Uh, was that a. Nope. nope so then... Have we seen a paradox yet? Oh, we saw one. We maybe? had one on the first turn. Okay. So. Uh, did you do your upkeep? Yep. Okay. Can I card for me? Uh, okay, this is the real top three cards of your deck, and uh, trash them. This is the situation basically. So let's let's reveal them. Um, one Pathfinder, one shortcut. This is a peril. Yeah, you can't comment. Oh no, and the bone saw. Oh, that's a lot of my movement compression. Uh, and my precious, and my precious bone well, saw. Very very safe. Very very safe for this to happen. That second Pathfinder sucks though. But yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, we gotta we gotta try some card. Okay, spooky. All right, so then it is our turn. So, um, okay. So I guess our our goals are, I I think at this point, we would have to get very lucky with the cards we draw to not need like to to not feel like it's worth it to do this compass thing, right? Yeah, I mean, I figure we check all the locations and then we, because these other locations might be non-Euclidean or something. Oh, because this is also like I could probably I could maybe do one of these, especially yeah. actually. Do I have a TTI? I could go first and do this with TTI if you want. Yeah. So which card do we put it on? I feel like the paradox one is probably the best. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Because you're because because you, I mean, when you I, move, you're going to get to do the non-Euclidean one yeah but but that one was so, so did we did we decide that once per effect means that like this literally this printed non-euclidean effect we can only do once per game uh it's not per game this is per effect so like when every trigger of this i think we can only do it once i don't think i don't think these help me do it extra times is what see that I that's confusing to me because like why I, then why did you question it when i said it the well, first no, time dan no, uh, well, no 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 here, here here's what i'm saying like one interpretation is like effect means every time a non a thing triggers because of non-euclideanness and in this case that would happen to you three times right 
So, okay. but we think that's not the case because it says group limit up here, right? So, uh... so the uh, the only the second the other interpretation that makes sense to me is that the effect is literally like the different non Euclidean things printed on different locations. So that that is not how I interpreted it at all. I interpreted it that this triggers I have to resolve the non Euclidean effect. Then, because this is a forced, I have to trigger this immediately. I can't slip in oh, the reaction. It says resolve that effect an additional time. Because they're on this, they're the same trick timing point, which means this definitely happens first. So all three of these happen first, and then I can only trigger this once because of, at, at the timing point I'm at is I've just resolved a non Euclidean effect. Okay, I, I don't totally follow you, but that sounds basically reasonable, and that's like a good Ben reason. And in general, yeah. Ben, you you if we disagree, you win because you actually pay attention to the rules. So that yeah. sounds fine. So it's not how I want it to work, but I think I think that's how we'll, we'll play it. So yeah. Uh, do you do you want me to shortcut back to you and get rid of one of those? Uh, if you have nothing else going on, sure. Well, I wouldn't say I got nothing else going on. Um, I, I have some cards I would like to play for one. Uh, well, well, and also I, I I could do this I could do this thing with a TTI. I mean that doesn't sound terrible to me. How how bad is this? Uh, oh, it's just you maybe take a damage or why don't yeah, you like? Yeah, I'm, I'm also yeah not yeah. scared of this one too much. So. Yeah, why, why don't you get rid of one of these and then just um just move and take an extra one. Yeah, that's fine. I was thinking about moving up to here to see what's going on there, but I, I could move through if we don't want to be split up that long. So. It, it, either way, let, let me go first, though, because okay. um, what I'll do is I will... Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this test. So I'm going to test will 4. I'm going to commit, take the initiative, so that gets me up to 6. And then additionally, I'm going to think about Sophie. Um, so that puts me up at 8 versus 4. And I succeed, and I put so, one of my clues on... Well, I. You you succeeded by two, so you can instead just put a clue from the token bank on. You get to keep your clue. I guess that's a little better. Um, so I think I think the paradox one is probably the one to do. Uh, yeah, either the paradox or the hidden, because they're both. I think okay. we don't have much control over those. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do that. Um, and then additionally, I'm going to play. Okay, so I'm going to spend an action. And I'm going to choose and discard two cards from my hand, which are going to be this Enchanted Blade and um, this Colt to discard this Hidden Treachery and place a clue on the thing. Okay. Uh, okay. And for my, for my final action, I will play Empty Vessel, I guess. Sure. Okay. And were you gonna Pathfinder to me? Uh, well, I do not have Pathfinder. I can oh, shortcut, shortcut to you if you want. Um, but I, so I shortcut I mean, to I me. Like... Then if you shortcut to me when I move off of this, then you can also trigger this. Uh... Oh, that's that's sort of good actually. Yeah, no, that that sounds solid. Um, I mean, the 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 argument against is like staying here is okay because we could just do this again. But I, yeah, getting getting the extra non Euclidean trigger. Seems good, I guess. I don't know. You're also about. You're. Probably, I assume you're gonna shuffle the deck next turn anyway, so I assume you're yep. gonna. No, nope. that's a that's a fair point. Yeah, let's uh, let's play the shortcut. Okay. All right. That's it. So I guess. Uh... Can I move two damage on a Jessica? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I, I, uh, I guess I. Yeah, table talks later. Uh... Get rid of Vasophobia and then move up. I don't have enough money for path under yet, but hopefully I will next turn. So I'll move up. So this will trigger this. So I reveal a random token. It is no. spooky, so I take a damage. Um, and you then... could take a horror on a Girish. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll do that instead, right? Uh, and then I'll do, I have to do it a second time. Oh, man, double, double whammy there. Uh -huh. But then I will put a clue on the thingy. And you man, see, I, I would have happily taken a damage, but... I guess I'll take a second horror. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Sorry. Right, so I'll I'll so I'll put I'll put one up there too. Okay. And then now we're in the Astana. Uh, so this you can do a parlay to move an enemy towards us. And if it engages us, then it gets we get it. we get a free clue. I guess. Okay. Uh, all right, but that was my whole turn, so I'll keep. 
Oh, Jessica heals. Eep. Oh, there's Captain Discovery. And then Doom happens. And I get an encounter card. It's a man. It's a man. Location connected to the most other locations. So I guess that's going to be back in the middle, I think, right? This is the only one connected to four locations. Yeah. Okay. Um... Well, I mean, that's a way to get more non-Euclidean triggers, I guess. Uh... This is very annoying because I know that my agency backup is one of these three cards. Yeah, yeah it really makes you think. Um, I mean, I basically know what the correct answer is, but... Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, it it's really sucks, but I don't have money to play it anyway, so I will just uh, remove these from the game. All right. Uh, the scene actually would have been good too, but yeah. and let's stand together. Yeah, that's a rough one. Yeah. All right. Um, so our turn. Uh, that's not, that's a omen. Yeah. Turn. Okay. So so the thing is, uh, so this guy is giving. Yeah, we we basically don't want to move here unless we move there directly to kill him. Right. Um, or um, which also, by, by the way, agency backup would have been a great way to kill him too. Yeah, so. I mean, you can also, we can also do the parlay to move him to us, um, but he'll still be able. To leave, oh, that's but that's that's pretty good actually. Um, uh, we won't get a clue from it, but yeah, I guess that's better than moving down there and moving back. I mean, the the benefit of moving down there is that's two more free triggers on this. So if we, we only if we, need. We oh need damn! Six. Oh, no, we need six. Damn. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, so we need like, six on each of these. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How are we supposed to get that many? I thought I misread it. I thought it was three on each. No, it's it's six. <laughs> I, I mean, so I feel like the, the solution is spam spam this and also probably do the compass thing. Yeah. You know what? Did we did we do this? Did you get two clues when you killed this guy, by the way? No. Okay. You were supposed to get two clues when you killed him. So Not, from, yeah. the, from the token bank. Yeah. Yep. Um yeah, I mean, I think we like have to do this a couple times probably, or do the the compass thing probably. So, yeah. Um, but like getting two few figures on that is okay. But we also, I mean, we could just walk through this location twice. I don't know. He only has one um, health, so like how, it's like it's like we move how, down. What? How? Sorry. How is your will situated? Like you, so you have you have essence of the dream and on the men. So I'm assuming that you could I, probably pass this every turn if you wanted to. Yeah, if I want to, it's only a shroud okay. two, but uh, yeah, well, I could, could potentially. So I think, have. I so. think that like you know, let, let's we have some time left. Like let let's get these clues. I I can basically just spend it. I can just deal with the mad architect this turn, right? Unless we want to go trigger the Euclidean thing. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't, I don't think we need to. So. Okay. So yeah, so so in that case, um, well. I mean, because the thing is, like, so if you basically Pathfinder their last action, then mm -hmm. that would be that would be two free triggers, and then I could just kill him on my turn anyway. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. So yeah, so do you, do you want to go first, and let's let's just get the two triggers, you know? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to invest. I'll investigate twice. Um, he he will get three doom on him. So if you fail to kill him for some reason, it'd be pretty bad. Um, I'll I'll have multiple chances. Okay. Uh, so I'll do Essence of the Dream, uh, which is a it's a plus four here, right? Because it's a Shroud four, yeah. Um, so it puts me at eight versus four. So I'll just test that. All right, I succeed. Get a clue, and then I will uh, on the mend uh, and put a thingy on that, and I'll be at a seven versus four. Right, great, and get another clue. Oh, actually, this gives me a symbol too, doesn't it? Yeah, I was just—I forgot about that. So yeah, I was at an eight. And I, uh, I need money so bad. Uh, okay, and then I will play Pathfinder and use it to move down to here. So oh, that... Did you really not have it out yet? I thought you did. No, I didn't have it. I drew it like one turn yeah. ago. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and then. Uh, I'll put a clue on the thing because I'm triggering the the thing. I will, all right, and I will also do it. Okay. Uh, and what's the echo thing? Oh, it, yeah, I just had a game. So. Yeah, it's doom on him. So now we're here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And your turn's done, right? Yes. Okay. 
Um, so I will right. click one to engage the mad architect. Okay. Um, so doing one of your, if you're going to do a test, I'm going to, I forgot to trigger Garisha myself, so I'll trigger on you. Um, okay. Um, I think I'm going to, even though it's like kind of wasting a damage, I think I'm going to AOD just to get money. So I'm going to huck my magical sword directly at this guy's dumb face. Um, so I'm at five, uh, eight, so eight, eight versus two. Um, okay, I succeed, so I gain three, and this guy dies. Okay. Oh, I, ah, it's too late. Um, that's fine. So this guy dies, um, and I have an action left. Uh, I guess I could play Gret, maybe? Oh, you get a vessel charge. Do you want to die oh, again, yeah. or do you think you're just going to get a couple of stuff? I'd kind of like a die, if you don't mind. Sure. I definitely should have uh, used Sophie on that, but whatever. Um, all right, and then I guess um, I guess I'll I'll just play Gret, I guess. So sure. That's it for me. Cool. Uh, do you want to ship me anything? I know you don't have any. You don't have any to ship me. Oh. Uh, all right. So I'll keep. And doom happens. We're at three out of five. I uh, got a fixer. Oh, there's a paradox. Team barrier. Ooh, it's a paradox. It's a paradox uh, that does damage <laughs> to you. Oh man, this is great. Actually, I don't care. Yeah, this is the perfect thing to draw. Um, all right, so we reveal what four, uh, 11? eleven. Eleven tokens. And, and there's really no way to do this to like faster. No, because it's, why would I, okay. I mean? You, you would think they would add that actually. Maybe they. Because there are investigators that draw like five tokens around. Or whatever. All right, you've drawn you've drawn more than three, uh, more than three spooky symbols. All right, so I take a total of three direct damage and horror. Um, I'm going uh, to choose not, to take. It's not direct. It's just damage and horror. Oh. Yeah. If that. Matters. Oh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take two damage and one horror. Um, and I'm gonna draw a card off of Sophie or okay. off of uh, whatever it is. Um, and uh, yeah. Feel, <laughs> yeah, feel, of feel, course, feel. of course, I just drew the motivational speech. Um, yeah, feel free to directly ship me the damage right now if you want. Um, um, I would. Could I ship one damage onto Jess and one horror onto Girish? Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like typically, like you're already, like it's slightly less on the men's for you, but like it is, it's a nice way to deal with horror. Yeah. All right. But then this has been resolved. So sh should I spend one of my clues? I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Because we we can't both do it. Yeah, it's only, I, it, it's only... I think in that case you should do it. Yeah, this was a paradox, okay. Okay. Uh, so I got an enemy on me, so I'm hoping you'll yep. deal with it before I go. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I will... I'll go first. Um, so I will... Yeah, I'll, I'll basically, like, kill your guy, and then... What else, what else can I even do that's useful? I'm just trying to, just trying to think ahead a little bit. Um, I, I could like engage your guy and I guess I don't want to get a woad and, uh, for two damage. Cause I was thinking I could like drag him up here and get a clue off of grit, but I think that's, uh, or, or, or drag him up here and get a high shroud clue. Is that worth it? Uh, are you, are you talking about moving up here, doing the parlay action? So he moves to you automatically. You get the clue and then you kill him and you get a second clue. Was that your plan? Oh, that's that's great actually, right? It's a pretty good plan, Dan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I was thinking the dumber version, which is basically to poke him, and say, "Hey, you, let's fight." Then running up there and letting him hit me once. Yeah, your your idea is obviously much better. Okay. Um, so move, resolve this non-Euclidean. Uh, okay, nothing happens. And and I, uh, yeah. So uh, okay. then activate. This parley, which moves. Oh no, sorry, it has to be an unengaged. Oh enemy. damn it! All right, then you do have to do the dumb thing. You engage him first. Well, is is there any way you can evade him? Uh, if you went first. I, I guess it's too late because I already drew the token. So, all right. So we'll say I engaged this guy. I moved and I let him hit me. I will put one on Gret and I'll take one and I draw. 
Um, oh, there's the shortcut. God damn it. Um, <laughs> yeah, this everything's coming out in the wrong order this time. Yeah. Um, and then last action, I will uh, practice makes perfect. Oh, did I forget to do the thing, the fancy way? That's OK. Um, I'll get out of vicious flow. Um, so that puts me at uh, I'm using a using a gun bullet. So I'm at seven versus three, which is enough. Um, and oh no! <laughs> oh, wow, retaliate. Well, this is actually awful. Um, this is really bad. That went about as bad as it could have gone. Um, okay. Well, so I lose. So I lose oh, the vicious blow. You, you know what? I could have healed you uh, when you took the two damage from the AOO. That would have been good. Yeah, let's, let's, I should have done that. So the double double bandages uh, or just one? I, I probably would have just done one. So okay, all right. Uh, okay, so he retaliates against me, and uh, then that's the end of my turn. So it's it, mm. it incredibly bad luck and annoying, but it doesn't actually really hurt us that much. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there's no clues here for me. So if I move, then I can advance this. Cause I think, uh, don't we have? Yeah, we have five on here. Uh, which I don't know is probably good. I, I assume nothing. I assume an enemy is not going to come out on the act advances, but uh, never know. Yeah, that's true. So I think I'm comfortable with uh, risking it though. So I'm going to get rid of Basophobia though, and then Pathfinder up. And I draw a token. Okay, nothing happens. Then I spend a clue. And now this will get put in the victory display. And this nice. will advance the act. So, all right. Applying the knowledge you gleaned from your initial observations, you work out a basic understanding of how the barrier works. As you solidify your theories, the dome begins to wobble, its shape losing consistency. If the mere knowledge of these arcane mecha mechanics is enough to counter the barrier, then there may be hope for you yet. And pushing the boundaries. The architect's spell seems to rely on using both the knowledge of the spatial warping magic and the will to shape it. You must match their wits and with uh, with will of your own. I guess, like, technically we oh, would have wanted to will. get all yeah. of them, kind of like Threads of Fate, we would have wanted to get all of them, like, almost done and then finish them all really quick, but it doesn't make a huge difference uh yeah i mean i think that's probably what's yeah okay all right and then i i have one action left because i path it up here so i will i guess investigate and i'll commit uh my nice. this is a dream go oh, i forgot to grab it okay uh i'll commit that with an extra symbol i have like plus five so I pass uh, i draw a card Nice. Get a clue, and this goes over here. Okay, and then um, Jessica heals, then, but I already have it on the mend, so. Oh yeah. What's up? Okay. No, it, it's all good. Yeah. Then enemy phase, he's gonna hit you, but I yep. can again soak the damage if it's really bad. Uh, oh, I forgot. Uh, Grish can also directly soak damage. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I forgot um, about that. So he could take. He can directly soak one of the damage. Yeah, can he take one and can you banish oh, me for I, one? Did I forget to tap him? Oh, I should have tapped him and I would have healed a horror. Yeah, and then I'll bandage you for one. Sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, and then upkeep. And then I have to discard some stuff. Discard on the mid. At the end of Mythos, I'm going to probably move two damage onto uh, uh, Jess, if that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. At the end of at the end of mythos so not right now well yeah because we don't have a window yeah okay so doom doom happens then uh oh, did it oh, we just definitely to click the doom button last time yeah i think we're supposed to be at four doom um and then counter card oh got this thing again mm -hmm. two Uh, only two, because the skulls aren't nice. one of the things. So it's very nice. Uh, I should need one more. What? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man. Okay, good. Hey, okay. great job, Ben. So I put, I give myself a damage, and I'll give myself. 
Oh, I guess I'll, I'll trigger heat bandages off of myself so I get my own men back. Nice. Okay. And then, and then I spend a clue to do the paradox one. Okay. All right. Cool. Counter code for Dan. Oh. Got our intelligence. Uh, all right. That actually, I guess that won't affect it right now because, oh, and investigator at fixer's location. So it actually does buff him, but that's sort of probably okay. Well, Ooh. okay. This is very cool art. Oh, uh, attached to this location, gains non-Euclidean. I mean, I think we can get rid of this if we need to. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, I, I feel like we don't really want to trigger one and one a lot, especially like, I guess you don't have Bassophobia anymore. Well, but like, you don't I mean, really double that up. It, once we get this clue, we can just leave and never come back here, though. So. Yeah, that's true. I, I guess we could take it once. Uh, the thing is, like, I, I am a little loaded up at the moment, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. fine. Well, at the end of Mythos phase, you said you wanted to ship damage to Jessica, right? So. Yes, I would like to move two to Jess. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so can I? Can I? Well, can I basically go first, kill this guy, get a clue off of uh, Gret, and then? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Um, I don't. I guess I don't have too much else. So I'll probably like play a Hallowed Mirror or something. I guess the well, the only other thing I could do is like I could whatever. Let's, let's do one one thing at a time. So uh, I'm going to shoot this guy with a Colt. I'm going to play Practice Makes Perfect off the stick to the plan. Um, I will choose the home front. Um, so with that committed, I'm at 10 versus 3. And... Versus maybe. 4. But... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, right. thing. yeah. Uh, I could use Sophie, or I could... I think I'll... I think I'll save that because I think I'm maybe going to do this will test also this turn. Okay. Not right, am I? Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go with this. Okay. Okay. This guy dies, and I heal one. All right. Um. So then. Uh, you get home from the I... under it. Yeah. yeah. Have I been forgetting to whatever? Probably not. Um, so I could, like, oh, and I get, uh, this off of Gret, yes. and I, uh, and I, uh, draw a card off that, um, so I can, man, you definitely know how to crack the case, right? Oh. Um, uh, I haven't drawn it. There's so I... two of them in my nine cards here. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, could draw it, I could draw it if I drop a couple clues, but... But not here. Uh, um, what I'm what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is shortcut here, do this test once, and play like a Hallowed Mirror probably. Okay, you will have to do the you'll have to take a damage and horror from this thing though. Yeah, I think I can handle that. Okay. Um, so I will so I'll move there. Um, actually, I don't really have. Oh no, I can, yeah, I got on the map, so that's fine. All right, so I'll take a damage and a horror. Um, and I will. I guess I'll do the thing. Or did we, uh, did we, no, we, 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 fi we finish that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Um, all right. So that moves me here. And I will do this test. So I'm at three. I'm going to commit inspiring presence and motivational speech to get up to five. And on the mend to uh, get up to uh, seven against four. OK. Um, do I want to? OK, so instead of the mo instead of the motivational speech, I will use Sophie again. So that gets me up a plus four. OK. Um, and I succeed, okay. but and not by two. So I place one of my clues yeah, uh, on. You didn't succeed by two? I thought you were up. I thought you said you were at eight. Uh no you're right you're right okay I did I did succeed by two nice um so I put a clue from the token bank um it seems like there are slightly there's maybe like roughly the same ratio of paradox and hidden things so far kind of yeah well the th we have the ability to put two on whatever we want later so I would yeah do that yeah. okay yeah I think that's right um and then I have an action left so I will play. I'll play the Hallowed Mirror. You have Relic on now, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm done. All right. Um, 
I think I want to go investigate this place that will keep us separated, but I'm also loaded up right now, so I think that's kind of okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I could path under to you and then leave if you want to be with me, but... Yeah. So I'll path under here, so I take a damage and a horror. Uh, let's take that directly, I guess. And then here... Uh, there's no clues. Move two clues controlled by investigators at this location to any story card in play. And then, oh, but then put clues back on it. Hmm. I think we maybe don't do that unless we're, unless we're really desperate because this is a victory location. Um, uh, I, I guess I'll just do, I'm just going to do three investigates, I think. So I'll, what's the shot? Three? Okay, so I'm going to commit on the mend in Grizzly Totem, which puts me out of seven. Oh, this should have come back to me. That's a success by one, or success by zero. So I get a clue and draw a card. I will commit this perception and tap Goresh and. That puts me at a nine versus three. So I succeed by two. I get to draw two cards. I'll play magnifying glass. I now do have a crack the case. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna get all the clues this turn anyway, so uh, it's more than FYI. I'm gonna heal Goresh and get my on the men back. Then I'm gonna immediately commit it again. And also commit essence of the dream. Uh, yeah, that's what's fine. And cool. Get another clue. End of my turn. Jessica will heal. I get Thunderman back again. Get one more clue. And it's the end of my turn. So upkeep. And I mean, I don't have no clues to get. But... Uh, reckless. And I'm gonna discard. Don't think I need. I don't think I need any of this. I've already drawn all my practically perfect targets, right? Yeah. Okay, I will get rid of that and get the ring. Do we need to heal horror? I feel like we are fine. Yeah, let's get rid of logic for a Okay, uh, then we're going to advance. Uh-oh, did I forget about this thing? God dang it. Uh, oh no! I should just put this in my threat area, because so, <laughs> it doesn't affect you, really. Uh, Alright, well, I have to discard three random cards from my hand. Um, Oof. I don't, well, I don't know how to resolve that, so I'm going to... I'm gonna, where I put myself where I was at when I had to discard right here at the end, and I'm going to discard three random cards. And <laughs> it was the same, the same three random cards. So, uh, I already... See, th this is like, uh, again, I think we're both really enjoying this campaign. I think it's yeah. very well designed. I feel like it, there's a metric that's like the dis the discrete number of like places on the board that you have to check whenever you do anything, mm. and I feel like that number is slightly higher in this campaign than in some other ones. Is that like... Yeah, it might be. I, we could also just play better. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we, yeah. we could also just be better at it, but yeah. like, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, okay, so I did my upkeep already. You did upkeep, right? Yep. Yeah. And then Doom happens, so we're going to advance. Uh, the scraping and receding barrier seems to lock into place with a, fa a fantastic display. The shapes all we form, combining and splitting, bending in ways that defy the world you inhabit. The very sight puts a pressure on your mind that you can barely withstand. In player order, each of us here tests, tests will five. If you fail, remove the top X cards from your deck, where X is what you failed by. But if you do the tablet or an elder sign, you succeed instead. All right, well, Oof, wish I still had that on the mend. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to commit my on the mend. I'll give it a symbol and I'll commit. Oh, I got rid of the will one. Oh, how did that happen? Okay. And. Do we have, do we have squids? 
We don't have any squids. I don't know how okay. we get them. I guess do I really not have anything else to commit? I guess I could commit both of these. And this puts me out of five. I have a lucky. Uh, I don't want to commit this because I think we might need it. I guess I'll commit this. Oh no, this puts me out of six. I puts me at seven. Yeah, no, that's lucky. All right, tablet is automatic. You succeed. Automatic succeed. Okay, great. Nice. All right. Oh, I had Goresha could attack too. Well, uh, oh, yeah. that, that's fine. I draw a card. Oh, now I have two craft yeah. cases. So. Wow. Um. All right. So I'm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Ooh. think. I'm. I'm going to cast my mind back to the the hazy but still vivid memories of uh, you know, 1912, 1913, uh, walking along the pier at one of those like old timey beaches with uh, with my my dear wife Sophie um and I, I'm gonna additionally I'm gonna think about Sophie an additional time so and uh, uh, I can give you plus two with correct oh no you're not my location yeah no yeah exactly yeah, otherwise minutes. I would totally do that additionally I will think about uh our our, our wedding day which is a, a incredibly happy memory for me although tinged with sadness because of the events that that followed it several years later um so I used I used uh the thing twice and additionally I'm gonna commit this reckless so I'm at seven against five, and I'm hoping I can hoping I can pass and beat the reckless. God damn it! All right, well, it was a good try. I failed by one, so I removed the top card of my deck from the game. Shortcut, fine. Reckless goes back in my hands. Okay. All right, then that is resolved. All right, collapsing patterns. The brief re reordering ends, and the dome continues to close in at even more rapid pace. Can you shatter it before it closes in on you? Uh, only five doom on this one, so uh, I got the geometer. Um, he makes the spooky tokens a little scarier. I th any connecting location empty if possible, so I guess he has to go here. Uh, but also, I feel like we could probably ignore him. So uh, I kind of card for Dan. Or Pratt. All right, easy, easy thing for you to kill. Easy kill. Um, yeah. So, do we? I, I guess. Um, how badly do we want to kill the the geometer over there? I'm not. I don't think I'm worried about that. It makes the cultists and the tablet uh, like a minus three instead of or minus three slash I mean, minus five. I mean, I, I kind of feel like that is in a in a low key way pretty annoying. The problem is that if I move over there, this thing comes into play again. Well. I, I, don't know. I think I am not too worried about it. Uh, I mean, you, you, if you kill one more, th once you kill this guy, you'll have Wish Eater, so you'll be able to ignore the next three of those tokens you draw. That's a good um, point. Um, okay, yeah, that's that's fair, I guess. If if you turn Wish Eater online at that point, but yeah, I, I probably would. So yeah, I uh, that's a that's a good because we're also I think we might be out in like a couple turns, right? Well, we have five at most, um, but we might but, but I think we, like we, we might be, like once I get this off. Like you, you, we need to do this like once or twice, probably, and then do this thing. So. Like, yeah, like because even on the board now, even if we don't draw any paradoxes or hiddens, mm. if we if we do this once, this once, and this once, then we can win, right? Well, if we do this, I have to get four more clues, but um, um oh, yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Um, but but uh, okay, yeah, oh, we can just um, do this a couple times too. Like, I I think I'm I think I'm sold on. I can always go kill him later if I don't have anything else to do. So, because okay. the yeah. So what I will probably do on my turn then is I will kill the Warf Rat and I will. I probably can't do this. Oh no, I I could commit this stand together instead of playing it. I mean, I can I can go first and end my turn here if that's helpful. Uh, that actually that would be sort of good. I would like to ship some stuff onto you. Okay, but I do but, have uh, to. Actually, did I care about discarding any of these cards badly? I guess I don't really care about that, so I might. Just just do this. Uh, so, yeah, I'll go first. So I'm going to investigate, which means I do that after I discover clues. Okay. Um, no, that is before the cracks would fire. That's fine. All right. So, are you gonna need Garish? Probably not, right? Oh no, actually, I'll use I'll use him to do this test. So. Yeah, you can go for it. Okay. So. Yeah, you also you don't absolutely have to move to me if you don't want to, because I can just I can just start soothing melodying myself. So. Uh, I'm at seven versus three. Yeah, like I, right. yeah. I get a clue. Then nice. I have to discard a random card. Oh, is it really bad if I discard the 
is I don't think it's that bad because it just okay. it sucks if we have to do the Sultan Mosque again, but whatever. Okay. Uh, all right, so I got everything. Um... Or or we just do the convent twice more, so it's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna move to you with Pathfinder. Um, um, actually, first we have to place four clues on here, right? Why? Or are you, you didn't do it yet? I I was just but, not gonna okay. do that. I didn't think we needed to. Oh, okay, yeah. Because we we can do this once, and we can do this three times. Yeah, that's fair. And, I don't know. I don't have deduction. I don't have deductions to get the no. clues back faster. Yeah. So. Uh, yep, I'm I'm sold. Okay. Uh, oh, but you're right. I did want to crack the case twice, just to get <laughs> a bunch of money I don't need. No. Oh, crack <laughs> why did you do it there <laughs> god damn it i mean i can save them i can save them and do it here i wasn't i wasn't man, planning to get these clues man do you see how much money i don't have <laughs> oh god whatever i mean i can i can wait uh no, i, I wasn't fine. i wasn't planning to pick up these clues no so. it, I, I, it's, fine. it's fine um all right so then i'm gonna do this test twice um so i'll use garish for the first one um I'm at oh, a... I think you can only do one success per turn here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Lame. Okay. Well, uh, that's fine. I'll try to do it once. Then. I mean, just yeah, just just do one. Play, play, play bandages, maybe. Uh, yeah. Or or play the compass. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll do one of those things. So I'm testing this. So I'm at a five versus three, but I have a lucky. So I think I'll just test it like that. Uh, nope. All right, let's, let's go. All right, so last action I'll play. Let's play the compass so it can't get trashed somehow. Um, yeah. Do I have to pick this when I play it? Uh, uh, hand slot, I guess. All right. Uh, okay. And then Jessica heals. And I get one back. All right, you're up. Can I move two damage to Jessica? Yep. Okay. Great. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is first I'm going to shoot the wharf rat. I'm going to commit reckless, and I'm going to uh, think about Sophie. So that puts me at eight versus three, and I succeed. So this guy dies, and the reckless goes away, and I add a thing, and I guess I immediately flip this because I'm not going to kill anything else this turn. So that seems fine. Okay. All right. This exhausts, right? Exhaust. Uh, nope, uh, sure doesn't. It's, it's really, really good. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so after that, what I will do is I will try to do this test. So I will commit stand together. So that puts me at five versus four. And I will use Sophie again. And I will commit second wind. So that puts me at eight versus four. Okay. And I uh, use Wish Eater. All right, so, um, you, so you can put a clue from the bank on something then. Yep, so I put a clue from the bank on, uh, I think, probably this one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a toss-up, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then um, I have one action left, and I play Soothing Melody on myself. And I heal, I heal two damage. Okay. And I draw a card. All right, uh, upkeep. I got two luckies now. Now I can. Great. Okay. And then, uh, Kenna card for me. Uh, Ward Weaver. I uh, can't discover clues or move clues to copies of the seal. Oof. All right. Hope we don't get a paradox. No, we don't. Okay. Reveal location with most clues. I, we probably don't care about this at all, but it does go on our location. It's after we investigate, right? I think we're just not going to do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I guess kill this guy and then uh, open there. Yeah, well, I'm wondering if we can win this turn because if we could kill this guy, if we could each if we could each do this test, then if you could do the Freemasons Hall, then I think we would win, right? Uh, yeah, we got four in each, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, so if I go first, if I kill your guy, and then do the do the convent test once are you able to do the convent test move and do the parley here yeah okay is this a cool. so this is not a test right yeah so now yeah i should be able to do that i guess the slight issue is i don't really have anything to commit to it but i could just think about sophie a lot and i could move some damage onto you so i think that is probably okay right yeah it's fine I, yeah okay um i could also right. give you garish if you need it so 
do you not need it for yours? Oh, you've got uh, luckies. I have. On I have luckies on the mend, and I'll have essence of the dream. So I'll have. Oh great! Yeah, yeah. Can I? Can eight. I use Garish then? Sure. Yeah. Let me. So so first I'll kill you. First oh, I'll okay. kill your dude though. Okay. So um, what I'll do is I'll because we we're pretty sure we're just winning, right? So I uh, will. Yeah. I will shoot. Um, and I'll commit home front. So that puts me at ten versus uh, four. Okay. And. Okay, I hit him and I move a damage on him and he dies. Okay. Click two, I will uh, attempt to do the convent test. So okay. I have will three, you're going to use Garish to get me up to five, right? Yep. Okay, I will think about Sophie, get up to seven. Um, and I will emit this motivational speech to get up to eight. Okay. And cool. succeed by two, put a clue from the token bank on... So I guess I'll... I don't think it matters at all. I will put I'll I'll put it on this one. Yeah. And then when yeah, okay. Uh I have one action left. I have basically nothing I guess, to do. I guess the only thing is is if, if the second act like spawns an enemy or something that we have to deal with before we can do the third act. I guess that's possible. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh I I think we'll be alright. Um okay. I will probably you know what? I'll uh I'm gonna return the cult to my hand and then I'm gonna replay it. Can you put six bullets on it, maybe? Or or just give me another die, honestly, it would be better. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's your turn? Yep. All right. Uh, so I... Oh, you succeeded with Garash, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to ship damage onto me or anything? Uh, I'm probably going to follow you, so I can just do it later. Okay. Uh, we'll see how, you, see how your turn goes. Okay. So I'll do this test. So it's at four... I will commit on the mend this thingy and get an extra symbol. So I'm at eight. Oh, I already need the luckies. All right, I succeed. Uh, I, see nice. exact, I see it exactly. So should I, should I put it on this, this one so it advances it, or should I put it on both of them at the same time with this one? <laughs> That's a good question. Time. Um, well, sometimes it's fine, it's more fun, but if there's some victory that appears, it might immediately make us lose it. I I'll uh, I'll leave that up to you, but I think it's I'm entertained to know which which choice you make. All right, let's let's split it up. Let's split the difference, and then I will Pathfinder uh, to here, and you can follow me. And then I this do. is just a free trigger, right? And it's tokens from the bank, so uh, it's weird that it says tokens and not clue tokens but uh you could just put that might for... just be that might be a word length issue because this card's pretty full of words yeah that's true okay uh oh i don't have the parlay turn off thing right no oh, okay that was something else okay so i guess Good thing we, we do we do have to resolve them one at a time still um so now there's six in each so let's, i guess let's do this one it doesn't really matter so this this gets put over here and then i think so the forced I think immediately overseeds forced. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, nothing, nothing bad happens. Okay, so Act Two: Your understanding of the second principle further weakens the shifting dome. Cracks and splinters begin to cross through the various shapes and patterns, forming lands, lines. The barrier uh, takes longer to morph. Once your knowledge is complete, you will be free. It's probably like the uh, laws of thermodynamics, where the second one is the really good one. Like the second <laughs> one's the really interesting one that really makes you think. You know? Maybe. All right, and then to know is to be, you must apply the final leap of logic before the cultists can close the barrier around you. All that remains is to complete your understanding, but then we immediately trigger that and go into Act 3B. Your final breakthrough proves to be a literal one as your discovery of the dome's inner workings unravels it completely. The geometric shapes fold into each other, winking out of existence or dissolving into the stonework of Singapore's landmarks and leave you free to leave the city as you will. All right, resolution two. All right. With the shattering of the barrier, the agents of the cult blend back into the shadows of Singapore, leaving you confused but relieved. The city took no notice of the attack against you, but surely there must be some evidence left behind. You return to Singapore's Masonic Lodge to investigate any connections to the traitors, only to discover that many of their members disappeared around the same time that your pursuers did. You give a brief explanation to the Lodge's Grand Master of the events at the Philadelphia branch, sparring the more otherworldly details and insist on conducting your own search inside. In one of the building's many basement rooms, you find uh, what James Wycliffe first hired you to find, the missing artifacts. 
Piles of twisted stone blocks and impossibly carved figurines lie scattered about, along with detailed notes on their construction. Including, included with the notes are architectural plans of a sort of for monolithic stone pillars constructed in position to bend space in the area around them. Your suspicion about the spatial warping stones are confirmed at last. This plan will allow them to move relay from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean up to the surface and awaken their master, Cthulhu. Uh, unfortunately, the cultists were careful about not writing down any hints as to where the project will uh, accumulate. Uh, you pour through the blueprints to find something, anything, that could help you stop their plans. In the footnotes of one of the technical drawings, you discover a small diagram depicting a failsafe for experimenting with the non-Euclidean stone. This ward acts as an anchor to keep the artifacts safe while they twist reality. This spell might be useful in countering the reality twisting magics the cultists have used against you. Alright, so we found the missing artifacts. And we gain a, gain a notice. And somebody can add the imbued sig sigil to their deck. Which is ward against the impossible. Mm -hmm. oh, immutable sigil, sigil. Uh, the scenario effect would remove any amount of cards from an investigator's hand, play area, or deck from the game, remove one fewer card from the game uh, if immutable signal would be removed from the game by a scenario effect, you draw it instead it's got fight and will icons on it I mean, I'll, I'll throw it in my deck in my collection of nonsense unless you want it desperately but uh, uh, sorry, let me take a look at it where is it? Oh, um, I like the art a lot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's cool. I don't think this is ever worth a click and two resources to play. Yeah, uh, it's it's just it's just a commit. So yeah, I don't want it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in my pile of nonsense then. Uh. Okay, so you have so many. How big is your deck? Uh, it's got four extra cards. So wow. yeah. and, uh, and, one, and and one of my cards in my deck is Bone Saw. So mm. uh, all right. So resolution three. The ultimate destination <laughs> destination of the cult's project still troubles you. The site is still known to you, but it must be both large enough to raise the sunken island in relay, but somewhere that the public or authorities wouldn't see it. Moreover, it must be somewhere that the cult could easily move people and supplies to. You. You hope that the cult hasn't found a way to twist space to fully hide the project. For lack of better leads, you return to Singapore Harbor to see if anyone has seen the cultists departing all at once. Uh, you step up to the notice board, ready to scour the list of ships for details when an announcement catches your eye. All ships traveling through the uh, Sunda Strait is uh, all ship travel through the Sunda Strait is suspended for the foreseeable future due to major volcanic activity in the area. The Krakatoa wow. volcano, which famously erupted and sank over 40 years ago, is active once again. Krakatoa. With a, new, <laughs> with a new volcanic island expected to form from the remaining caldera. Oh, caldera. The pieces begin to connect. An easily accessible location that the public is currently prepared for visiting. And with the volcanic activity providing as much fresh stone as architects need. With its close proximity to Singapore, the Krakatoa caldera is, uh, is the perfect candidate. But you must confirm your suspicions you arrange a meeting with the harbor master and after a small bribe he informs you that a group of Af american entrepreneurs rec recently departed to mine pumice from the caldera the arrangements were made months ago in spite of the ex expected volcanic activity and the harbor master shows you the proof of permission signed by one of the masonic traders this breakthrough confirms your suspicions and gives you your destination you must get to krakatoa the, the krakatoa basin to bring an end to this plot it's very cool i mean Look, if, if, when it comes to like plot points and things that can happen in games, if there's one thing we love, it's dinosaurs, right? Mm -hmm. But if there's yeah. two things we love, it's dinosaurs and volcanoes. I'm very pro volcano, so I, volcanoes are great. Yeah. Like any any time there's a volcano happening in something, I'm having an excellent time mm -hmm. at the volcano. So, uh, and it's... and and the scenario is called pyroclastic flow. So it's not just going to be one of these weak ass like, oh, maybe it erupted a million years ago. Yeah. Volcano is yeah. like. I feel like we might be getting to see some lava. So right, that's, that's that is what I'm expecting too. Um, yeah, I guess a slight chance it'll be like off in the background, but I, I hope not. I hope we're like around the volcano fighting cultists or whatnot. I I hope we're like surfing down the lava river <laughs> on some kind of like fireproof I, uh, surface. That, you know, that might like, be cool. I that I don't expect that to happen, but you know, like if I, it happens, I would I would like to uh, I would like to overpower I would like to overpower like hit a guy so hard he falls into the lava and gets melted. Is what I would like. 
okay. Uh, I, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, yeah. Last things here is we get two more notice because I think we probably got six victory. I'm just assuming we did. Got at least six, so it puts us at 24 notice. Hell yeah. Um, looks like we big, maybe big, got... Big, big notice, uh, big problems or something. I don't know. <laughs> more more notice, more notice, more problems. Yeah. It looks like we got the eight again. Maybe is eight the max in all these? I forget what the max was in the first couple, but I, uh, I think eight has been so we've only we've only missed victory like a couple times and we've always gotten seven or eight. So I think it's I think it might just be a uniform like eight from each scenario. Yeah, if you, if you I, get it all. I feel like we missed an enemy in one and we missed like the yeah. special super super uh pro yeah, like, auction. Exactly. One, I think, so I think I think it's like seven or eight from we've always gotten seven or eight and probably eight is the max. So I'm yeah. I'm happy. That's, that's that's a good amount. So yeah, what'd you think of this one? Uh, I enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, I liked the math guys. I liked the um, the non-Euclidean kind of came into play a little bit more than it has in the past, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as always, I love the use of real-world locations with art and flavor text. Uh, it's always really neat. Um, Singapore is not a place that you get to see in games very often, so that was cool. Um, yeah, what, what did you think? Uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I I like that it was kind of like a puzzle on how to solve uh, this thing where it was like somewhat random, but there's also ways to control it. Um, it felt a little bit yeah. different than some other scenarios where you're just dealing with randomness. Yeah, like it was cool that we had to kind of like, you have to always have clues because you don't know when you're going to draw a paradox. Yeah. Right? So, or when a hidden card's going to go off. And yeah, I think the timing on it was pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, like we we dodged all the add a doom things, but like easily one of those could have easily drawn come at a bad time and, and made it even tighter. Um, so yeah, because uh, yeah, this was another it was another one that was sort of a time constrained. We played pretty well and didn't really ever add any doom, well, and even still we only had like three turns left over. Well, because so. we picked because of the choice we made last scenario, we didn't get extra doom at the start of this scenario, so. It, like if we had done a different path last scenario maybe this one would have been harder how do we know how much we could have gotten uh it was up to three that you could start with oh wow so it could have been really tight yeah like it's if okay. we if we did if we were severely delayed that wouldn't have been if we lost uh but if we chose the least predictable route we would have gotten an extra doom so one, do to, we, one to three we probably don't know this do we know what would have happened if we'd only gotten two of the three story cards did we just lose? Uh, we we needed to. I, I mean, I assume we would have lost. I mean, look at this. Yeah, we defeated. So okay. Uh, so we definitely had to get all three. But not well, not not killed though. Like we we could have kept going. Oh yeah, I don't I don't think. Yeah. We, uh, I don't know. Let's. Okay, I can pick it that quick. Uh, I mean, you don't have no, to. I know no, you don't no. like to. Uh, I mean, it, it's. I don't play enough Arkham that I. Even though this is a very cool campaign, I don't know if I'm going to replay it anytime. Replaying it anytime soon. By the time I replay it, I imagine I will have forgotten anything <laughs> that uh, yeah. comes through a resolution. So, uh, no, it doesn't look like there's a not. A, it's not an end of the game thing. It's just you're just delayed or whatever. So yeah, and um, there was one other thing I was going to ask. Oh, so and and the story cards were those those were chosen based on what we did or randomness or something? No, that, they were random. So there were two other ones. So there were okay, so the two. So it's like three is, out of five. Uh, Oh, one's whenever you draw a symbol token, basically. Okay, that's and interesting. I, that that one's interesting because depending on the decks you're playing, there could be groups where like that is a lot easier. Like you have Jim in your deck or in yeah. your group. And this one was when a cultist or conspirator was defeated or evaded. So mm -hmm. yeah, both of the did we maybe get two of the harder ones with the, par the paradox and the hidden cards? It's uh, it seemed like those two. Well, I guess four of them were the the, mo the one that you had the most control over was the non Euclidean one yeah um but the one that um yeah i don't know I, I think there are definitely more cultists and conspirators together in the deck probably than there were paradoxes or hidden cards but it is maybe a little bit more work to kill them but we were doing that anyway so i, I think for our group that one would have been easier yeah than the it looks like there was one. only those two hidden cards that you drew um i think it, it i think it would be so. this would be a really interesting one in a four-player game mm because you don't know who's going to draw the paradox right so you sort of want to be bunched up enough that like you either want everyone to have a couple of clues or you want to be bunched up enough so that when anyone draws a paradox like someone with a clue is there to take advantage of it because you'd also right. need to put a lot more clues on for the four player game yeah it's true so uh yeah definitely neat um 
Love, loving the campaign so far. I'm excited for volcano yeah. time. Uh, any, we, uh, any other thoughts on this one? We're uh, no, just have, having a great time. Looking forward to uh, to the last to the last couple. We are uh, we're trying very hard to finish this before the holiday chaos nexus activates, and we're all like busy and traveling. So we're gonna I think we're gonna try to play. We're gonna try to get the last two done basically in the next like week and a half ish, right? Yeah, uh, so people can keep an eye out for that. We'll post on socials when we're streaming, and otherwise they'll be up on uh, YouTube like this one. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get them done in the next week or two. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for coming. Anyone that hung out in the chat with us, uh, anyone watching on YouTube afterward, uh, let me know if I did, made any rules mistakes. Uh, you can follow us and what we're doing at our socials, which are all at social.mer.fm. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll catch you guys Everybody. next time. Bye-bye.